Good morning guys, Bill again, Competition Cars. Now we're gonna go over this engine bay interior and trunk of this 88 Chevy Beretta GTU with 45,000 original miles. And this car is a manual transmission. Now I bought this from what I believe was the second owner. Carfax shows no accidents. I believe it was a one owner the entire time until about a year or so ago or less than a year. The second owner bought it and then I wound up getting it from him. A very nicely detailed engine bay. There's no rot, rust, or corrosion. Everything is clean and sorted like it should be. Car runs like a top. The um, uh, hood pad is in great condition. I mean, the car looks good. I mean, it's got a lot of, lot of, a lot of uh, originality and you can tell it's a very low mile car. So let's come around to the, to the driver's side. And um, I told you the car, we, we reconditioned these cars. So the car has been paint corrected. Uh, I did a headliner, any nicks or chips that the car may have had, we've touched up minimal stuff you'll see pictures and and, and that uh, where i point that out also you'll notice in the pictures this little cover's missing so it must have popped off it doesn't fit perfectly you know, these dashes were a weak point in these cars so there's the cover for that and also right here these were also missing the, these are they're broken I, I haven't tried to source them yet but i snapped them back in just so there's not a big void there but as far as the condition of the interior goes it's really good you know aside from the dash Everyone I've seen ever, even when I because I was selling new Chevrolets and Nissans. I was a Nissan Chevy store in 89 and 90, and all those dashes on these and the luminous would flip up like that. Um, you know, probably a good upholstery shop could probably rectify that, but that's pretty much a common thing. But look how nice the interior is. New headliner, perfect carpets, perfect seats, perfect steering wheel. Everything in the car works as it should. And there's the highlight right there. Look at that, the five-speed. You're just not going to find these anymore in this condition in white with red with the five speed and such low miles coming around to the back of the trunk lots of great documentation there's the original owner's manual manual warranty booklet uh the, the gtu registry card uh some original paperwork from the factory uh a, a tag it's kind of faded it's got the vin and tells you what the car is a few little service records and then you know we we do a service before the car goes out so it's, it'll, it's you know fresh oil change service ready to go we did the exhaust on it um put more of a correct tailpipe on it there's the additional piece the beretta tail panel so it's there for you if you guys want to put that on some extra parts there's an extra headlight switch just you know maybe it's the guy just had one and bought us an extra one wanted extra stuff some other odds and ends in here, little odds and ends, uh, the bra, top part of the bra, which again was a period correct thing. So then we'll come around to the passenger side. And also, Andy, film up the bottom, uh, the bottom of the doors there. I don't do rusty cars. Like, see how nice the bottom of the flat part of the door is? Again, look at this side. Very pristine. Got the Beretta GTU badging on the, on the uh, dash. And look again, the seats. Very nice. I love the interior in red. It's more it's more like a maroonish burgundy, like a darker garnet red, which I think looks great. So very few flaws on this car. Like I said, you got the dash, a couple of rock chips that were touched up. You got this right here. I probably should have had this painted, but they, they tend to get chipped here. So you got a few chips behind there. I'll probably touch those up. If you touch them up, they won't look as bad. So there's the car. Nice car. Straight on this car. Low miles. Great car facts. Clean, detailed. AC service ready to go. Just ready for you guys to enjoy. So check it out. You'll see it on YouTube. This car will be for up, up for auction on Bring a Trailer. And um, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. When the car goes live on Bring a Trailer, which I suspect will be in a few days, I'll share the link so you guys have access to another several hundred pictures plus all these videos. So thanks for bidding. Uh, we're looking, guys, and hope, hopefully you do bid. Take care.